everyone, welcome back to Rachel and Bella Crafts. Rachel here. I hope you're all well. So for today's video, I am going to be carrying on with our envelope flip journal. Um, and today I want to um, add some pockets and some tucks and some embellishments to it. And also we are then going to insert um, our journal pages into the middle. So we're going to have a nice little journal in the middle of it. But um, just to recap, so we've put all of the envelopes together we've you know created the structure in the last video then i showed you how i um collage with all of these lovely papers i'm using um the traditional christmas kit pages from pink monarch prints and the links to all of the kits shown in these videos are in the description box below just in case i forget to tell you that so um yeah as i was saying we've added all these bits and pieces in and now we're just going to look at where we can add pockets and where we can add um, tuck spots and obviously the bits and pieces to go inside. So there we go. That's just so you can see that it is all done in there. So I had a little prep last night. I've um, cut all of the amazing little tabs and tickets and uh, labels and things out and they're all inked ready. So I'm going to suffer the noise of me doing that. <laughs> I have also cut out and inked all of the pockets that come with the kit. Um, so they're all done ready as well. And there are tags that come with the kit. So here's a selection of these here as well. They are rather lovely. And I just love this green background on here. Um, and then we've got some of these shapes as well, which we're going to use as uh, smaller tucks. Um, what else have I cut out? Oh, we've got some tags here. And of course, we then got the journal pages which I have cut out already so um, in case you forget to go through that with you so what I've done is I've taken um, some coffee dye papers I've used um, one of um, these uh, window pockets that uh, are one of the, the kits from uh, Anna um, and I've put that in there and then the back then will be able to be used to journal on um, I've added um, some music paper and then I've added another one of those lovely pockets and there are four sheets so eight uh, pages uh, 16 sides of coffee dye paper then for you to add whatever you want to or to journal on um, and I have cut that to the shape because I want it to go in this section here so just to show you obviously you've got that front bit there and we've got this little flat bit it's not going in there it's going in this bit here so the back part of the bag um, and it is going to fix in there now I've cut it to shape so that when the journal is closed obviously you can't see it and it's protected by this larger envelope but from the back it does hang out slightly um, and I'm good with that that's okay that kind of all goes with the layering um, look of the envelopes um, and obviously we will have a tie to keep everything closed and keep it together but um, I didn't want it to be as short as the envelope because I just felt that well it wasn't going to be big enough really and it, it you know it, it, it you could get away with it is what I'm trying to spit out. Um, it lends itself to, to a nice wide page. So there's this space there then for if you want to put like Christmas cards in or whatever, little keepsakes on Christmas. Um, there's lots of room there then. So, oh, the other thing that I did as well was I had some scraps. So I've got on and I've made some little, um, some little scrappy cluster things to go in the journal. And I've stitched them ready. Um, so they're all done. There we go. And I'm going to play about with some of the stitches on the machine. So that's always a good way to test the stitches on your machine. Do it on your little scrap clusters. Because um, they look really funky then as well. With all different things on there. And that one there is a, that's a little belly band, that one is. So there we are. So we'll come back to those in a moment. So I'm going to start off with some embellishments on the front. Not an awful lot. And then we're going to look then at what pockets we're going to put inside. So the kits have an amazing amount of... Um, tabs and, and labels as I was just saying that's what I, I sat and cut those out last night ready um you know so I've, I've selected a few things that I think I'd like to use so I think for the front I'm going to just put these um these labels on the front of here and I think I might use the holly then in the background to kind of give it a little bit more um depth and dimension so I hope that you are all well I hope that you've all had a great weekend we've had a really busy one um Christmas shopping roundup and carol services and oh and by the way thank you so much to those of you that um tuned in and watched uh, carols under the arch and thank you for those that left a comment on their video they were really really chuffed 
um, especially to know that some of you are watching from not local, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I think they were, they were quite um, quite pleased about that. So that was that was great. So thank you for that. Thank you for encouraging them. Wasn't it great? I didn't get up to as I had originally planned to go um, from Dad's Carol service then up to um, my church with my brother um, and watch it up there. Uh, it didn't quite go to that plan as especially as plans ever do. Um, I took mum with me instead to dad's uh, service because obviously dad goes on down earlier and it was a dark foggy night. Um, so I picked mum up and went down with her and um, I was running a little later than planned. I was I spoke students spoke to a couple of people that I knew at the carol service. So all good. I watched Cows Under the Arch and when I got home in the evening, which was lovely. Sat by the fire. Um, listening to them all singing um, and yeah it was it was a really uh, really jolly um, jolly half hour you know and I just they did a great job it was lovely to see all the children from the some of the local primary schools on there as well um, my youngest his old primary school was on there um, so that was lovely to see as well um, but yeah really great uh, great little um, service they put together there so we had to say carol services on the weekend and we went to do some christmas shopping which by this point in the year now i'm at that stage where i just hate going <laughs> it's like how many times do you go christmas shopping you know and it's the same stuff it doesn't matter where you go it's the same stuff isn't it and it's just the, the amount of people i can only cope with so much with my brain as a guts fall after a bit and i'm like no no more shopping just let me go home now please so um we, we weren't out for long uh, and of course I had to do the dreaded food shop not the Christmas food shop just the week before Christmas so we can eat this week kind of Christmas you know food shopping so we then did that Saturday evening because uh, my my son my middle son Rob he was um, working all day Saturday so um, I went down and kind of timed my food shop with picking him up from work so he wasn't on the bus uh, but oh my gosh yeah I was just glad to get home crowds and i gotta be honest it's not even that busy it's not busy like it usually is it's, you know i've seen busier but it's just still too busy for me <laughs> too busy for my brain it cannot cope i just find that um oh you know it's just a lot in there I, I don't know where there is i i, I don't know i i oh, let me take these tags away i even question now have i always been like this or is this just like a um a result of lockdown kind of um you know forgetting how to not be part of society that's so dramatic but but you know just forgetting how how busy life actually is out there it's like oh i don't like this i like it quiet in my house and at my own pace so i don't know i don't know perhaps i am just being a bit silly about it but i just find it a bit much sometimes it's a bit overwhelming that's the word i'm looking for and it's funny because my youngest came down to do the food shopping with me on saturday and and I know he's he's struggled a lot actually since the lockdowns, and he's you know like as true to form with most boys really of his age. They're not particularly sociable creatures, are they? Um, you know they they're usually just finding themselves and and trying to find you know that they're comfortable with themselves. You know their voices are getting deeper. A lot of changes going on, and they're always a little bit unsure then, aren't they, at that age? Because um, he's coming up for twelve, and I, I he they're just really not into being around huge groups of people, and. Uh, I said to him, oh, come, come down to do a bit of shopping, me love. I said, it'll do you good to get out of the house. <laughs> and we, we'd only been in the first shop and he was, oh, he had a face like that. And he was like, I just can't cope with all these people. They're just, people are so stupid. He said, they're just standing around and getting in your way. And and he's he's really like, you know, let's just, just get out of here, man. So I was like, okay. <laughs> you know, he's not grouchy, but he, he was quite funny. So I, I did feel a bit sorry for him, actually, because it, I you know, it, it's like I say, it's a bit overwhelming when, uh, they're just not used to it now are they i think perhaps it's easier for well no we're not adapting as we uh, are we as adults so you know when we've been in for a long time we find it unusual being back out doing things that are busy we're not really getting a good crack at the whip are we because every time we try and restart doing stuff it it all gets slowed down again but um yeah for the kiddies it's a it's a big change i think they uh and and uh, you know pre-teens and teenagers they're unsocial enough as it is aren't they without us kind of encouraging it by saying yes yeah, stay home stay in your bedrooms you're not allowed to go out <laughs> why would you say that to a teenager i don't know but there we go so yeah that was my busy weekend and what was i doing saturday morning hmm 
Oh, probably talking to you. Lot. I think I was. I think I was doing a video Saturday morning and tidying up. Still trying in vain to clear up my craft room. But um, but it's got to be done by, uh, it's got to be done by Friday because it's Christmas Day on Saturday and I need to get the table out and do Christmas dinner on it. So the organising needs to be done. So yeah. So before you all start to um, fast forward me, I have to tell you a funny story. Um, well, I say a funny story, it might actually not be that funny, but I just thought it was funny. So um, this time of year, it's great. I love this time of year because obviously it's Christmas, um, but um, we kind of have, you know, I don't know about you guys, I know everybody does different things when it comes to like the small presents, you know. Um, lots of people do like socks and pyjamas and stuff like that. Um, but in our house, it's always been a kind of thing that we have toiletries at Christmas. So um, I'm actually a spring baby. My birthday is February the 21st. So I am one of those people that has presents all at the end of the year. And then we have to make them last then for the next 10 months because um, obviously you don't get anything then until the following Christmas. So I, I like to try and kind of, you know, make the most of that. And I like to make my stuff stretch. I'm pretty good at that. Um, but my other half, he's great because he does really stock me up well at Christmas on toiletries um you know we, we, we've got a um uh oh, golly what do you even call it i don't know i think they're traditionally like a pharmacist but they they also do all the kind of you know booty products and so that company over here called boots um and he loves the, the boots catalog when it comes out we all make fun of him because uh, he trolls through it but they do have some fantastic deals and um they they sell a brand there which i know is not just for boots i don't know if you have it in other countries um but it's called soap and glory and i absolutely love soap and glory it's um i just love the smells i love they really like uh they're not overly fruity but um like lots of like oaty meal smells and um they do one with like lime crush i think it's called and it's like a scrub oh my goodness it's delicious i love it um so you know i usually get like a big box of that every christmas and um you know and different things well golly as i'm saying this too now, looks like it's gonna go out in a rash oh my goodness well the strangest thing is this morning i got up and i thought oh i, I need to use up some of what i had left over from last year because i'd like to you know make sure it all gets used and the kind of things that don't tend to get used in my house are things like things that take time so face masks body scrubs they all just end up in a drawer because i i'm not uh I, I don't have time to sit around doing stuff like that i'd rather sit and do this do you know what i mean or I was busy with work before or other things like that. But um, yeah, sitting around with a face mask on has never really been high on my list of priorities. Maybe it should be, but it hasn't been previously. Um, so this morning I was in the drawer looking, thinking, oh, what have I got in here then? And I came across this um, like body scrub. It, it was a coffee and oat body scrub. And I thought, oh, that looks interesting. You know, in, in quite like a big packet. Um and, you know, promises you to have lovely smooth skin and blah, 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 blah. Buffs away all the dullness and leaves you glowing. And I don't know, I couldn't read anymore. I had to go and get my glasses. It was, so I couldn't read, you know, what you're supposed to do with it. Um, and I, so I thought, oh, I'm going to have a go with that this morning. I'll, I'll check that out and see what it's like. Now, I don't like coffee. I don't like the smell. I know, gasp, everybody. Um, I, I, it's just, no, it's just one of those things. It's, it's just a no for me. So I don't like the taste of it. Don't like the smell of it. Um... And my other half loves it. So when he's making coffee, I kind of just go off and Ugh, don't breathe the air in. <laughs> I can help it. Um, but of course, I can't smell anything at the moment because I still lost my smell and my taste from COVID. So um, I, I just thought to myself, well, what the heck? I'm going to just use this thing because I can't smell it anyway. And if it's supposed to be as good as it says, um, I'll give it a go. So jump in the shower, op open the pack first. Remember to do that because nothing worse than being in a shower and your hands are wet. You can't open these these big packages things. It was like a, a food sachet. It was that big. So I um, opened it up. I'd washed my hair and I thought, oh, I'll try this now. And if I did open it up, I'm, the, I'm not kidding. The inside, the contents were, oh, well, probably like that colour. Well, actually like that colour. It was literally like a packet of coffee grains. So, of course... You know, you, you kind of grab a handful of it, stuck it on my arm and like looked and I thought, oh, I was just covered in coffee. The bath was covered in coffee. The walls of the shower were covered in coffee. And you know, you suddenly think, I have read the instructions on this correctly. <laughs> this is just going to make a mess everywhere. What have I done? Um, so, yeah, anyway, I thought, oh, well, in for penny. I, I was committed at that point, wasn't I? So I, I 
ploughed on and caught the odd whiffs of it, but nothing that was, you know, really putting me off. Um, and yeah, so use this, this, this coffee scrub. I've got to be honest, it actually was quite nice. It was quite zingy. And I thought, oh, it's, you know, maybe this is what it's like having a cup of coffee. Everybody feels awake afterwards and, you know, give you a bit of a caffeine hit. And yeah, perhaps it'd be great. And then, you know, I rinsed it all off and got out of the shower. Then I suddenly thought, if I come downstairs now and I'm sat there filming and then suddenly my arms go streaky like a bad tan, this is going to be great. But I don't think they have. But I am itching. <laughs> I don't use a lot of heavy products because I do have quite sensitive skin. But oh, what's the chances now going to be of me having a blooming rash now or coming out in something obscure because I've plastered myself in coffee? I don't know. I won't recommend the product until I have... Um, let me go two days and I'll come back to you on that and we'll see how it goes. But oh yeah, my word. I probably stink. I don't know. I can't smell anything. <laughs> but that was my morning. That's that's what woke me up. That's That's kind of like gave me the bit of energy that I needed this morning. So, right, what have I done here? I'm waffling away. I have put a nice little um, little tech spot on the front there and I'm gonna put that beautiful little tag in there because I think that's rather sweet. I'm gonna tuck that inside so you can see that peeking out behind and the little robin when it's shut. I've put a few little bits and pieces on the front of there so I'm happy with that one, happy with that one. I may stitch on that tag later, but I'm not worried about that in a minute. Then I've got this little one on here. And I've added and rather these little oh he's cute, I love these little tags. So they're gonna go in there like that. I will put um a label on there and a bit of material. We'll come back to those later. I'm not gonna worry too much about tags at the minute, we're just gonna get pockets done today. And then on the inside of here, did I leave that open there? No, I didn't. I've stuck that down there, but that's fine because we've got the don't forget we've got the large pockets in here. So I left these in just to remind me. There's also this one here. So we've got a tech spot here. We'll be able to make a little tag to go in there. A tuck spot here, pocket here, and then this one here, 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 this one here is a large pocket, but it goes right the way through. So I was going to glue it up when I noticed that last night, but what I did then notice was if I leave this tag hanging out of this pocket like this, I can't then shut that flap. So I'm going to leave it open because what happens then is when I go to shut the flap, it pushes it through the other side. Oh, it's like being on a magic show, isn't it? And look at that. And then it all fits. It's amazing. So I'm not going to shut the hole. I'm going to use the tap. I've got to push it out to open it. That's the only thing. So it's almost like a, a locking system. But I do want to back my tag before that stays in there. I'm going to put a pocket on here now. I was looking for it just now. I remember now what I did. I I did all this about half past one last night. I was going to go to bed and I walked past and I was like, oh, I'll just quickly do my pockets. So I made a few pockets out of the scraps that I had left over. So I've got this one here. Um, so I, I literally just have taken some pages left from the kit. I I tipped my squash the other day on <laughs> some of the pages. I'm going to use that though because I like how crinkly it's gone. Um, but I did have some more of that left. So I've cut that now. I've literally just cut the shape to the page. I've used my, um, this, my corner cutter and rounded off the edges. I've inked it and then I've used my circle cutter to just make that little divot in the top there. So... Let's just glue that into to place. Um, and then that'll be that section done. See, I said this wouldn't take long, didn't I? So the carol service last night was lovely. Um, obviously, things are starting to kind of... We're having to be a bit more careful here again now. They're not threatened to put us in lockdown yet, thankfully, but they have asked people to be careful. So um, Dad kind of did the service. The majority of it we did sitting so that we weren't singing and project you know obviously i had to keep masks on um but just so that we weren't kind of like over projecting you know what a want a better word um over one another um but i think we did about golly i want to say 10 maybe 12 carols it was amazing i love it i love singing christmas carols i like singing full stop but especially love singing christmas carols so really really enjoyed that um and he had a really good turnout there as well um it's just lovely seeing people um being able to come back together and do these things again. Because, of course, we missed them such a lot last year. Um, so, yeah, that was really nice. And I also got to bump into um, some old colleagues of mine. Um, and um, she's, she's the uh, head teacher of the uh, local primary school up there where I used to work. And um, so it was really nice to, to uh, say hello and 
and wish them Merry Christmas because you know, it's just been a, a while since we've seen lots of different people and um, yeah, they just really enjoyed it. Oh, look at them on there. Aren't they cute? Oh, we'll have those on next week. Father Christmas says, well, these naughty little ones here. That looks quite fun. Um, so yeah, after that, then I, I did nip back to mum and dad for a cup of coffee. Well, I, I didn't have coffee. I had a glass of squash, actually. <laughs> um, <coughs> and then came home then and watched Carols Under the Arch and suddenly realised then at about quarter to nine I hadn't fed myself and my other half. I was like, oh, sorry, love, everyone had a meal today. Do you want them to eat? <laughs> so we had a little bit of scrambled egg on toast in front of the fire, which was nice. And then, um, and that's it. The weekend's over then, isn't it? It doesn't, uh, it doesn't take long. It, it, it flies by. So, yeah, nice to be busy. I just can't believe this is it now. I can't believe we are at the last, um, the last week before Christmas now. And it used to come around so, so quickly. I don't know, perhaps it doesn't feel like it's come around quickly for you. Uh, but I feel like I've blinked and kind of like missed the month. I felt like that in November, actually. I don't know, I just must be getting old. They say it, the older you get, the quicker time goes. I laugh because my 12-year-old says that to me sometimes. She's like, Mum, I find I'm getting older and the time is going so fast. I'm like, of course, son, you wait. That's nothing. Wait till you see how quick it does get. Scary, isn't it? Really scary. But there we go. I love these little labels that uh, Anna's done with this kit. They are so cute. It's always good to have some numbers, isn't it? And she's done these ones a lot. And they're, they're just like little... Um, just little bits of the, of the kit pages, but they are like ready cut in a, in a little rectangle. But they're great if you want to kind of do a little bit of layering like this. There we go. I like that. That looks very cute. Um, uh, cards on the table, uh, layering and embellishing is not my strong point. It's not something I've spent a huge amount of time doing, but I am learning and I am trying to... Um, well, just get better at it, really. And I think the only way that we are going to ever get better at anything is just to keep on doing it. So some days I do stuff and I think, well, I didn't like that. And then other days it just comes together. I'm like, oh, well, actually, that was really good. You know, so don't ever be afraid to uh, to try with stuff. You know, um, my mum, she's got a really good eye for stuff like that. She She's an artist. She's going to, she, she draws, she paints. So they're used to having that kind of field of vision, um, you know, thing. Like, I, you know, I take photographs, but... Um, you can't always control what's in a photograph, can you? You take pictures of scenery and it, I can't place things where I feel that they should be, apart from making sure that something is slightly off-centre. But, um, yeah, when you're putting stuff together, I, I, I do struggle with it sometimes. But um, I also think it's for me. So as long as I like how it looks, that's the main thing. Because when I first started journaling, I used to be quite scared to commit to the page i'd leave like a lot of stuff just loose thinking oh i'm not sure i want to i want to put that in there um but now i'm i'm forced myself to make decisions and it's good it's good to it's good to make decisions right i'm happy with all of that in there that's good that's sorted so what are we going to do here well i think we need to put a pocket in here we have obviously got a large pocket in the top as you can see by my demonstrating tag oh look at that tag isn't that beautiful the floral design in the background, look. And then she's got this lovely script at the top. And it's like then there's like a bit of gold leaf going on on there as well. Love it. Just love it. Um, yeah, so what are we going to put on here? Let me just think now. Right. We've got this lovely music. Um, these pockets obviously are, <coughs> excuse me, uh, a size designed to go into a full journaling page well obviously my book here is not full journal in size because it's a little envelope booklet um so i'm trying to utilize these in a different way because obviously i don't want to waste them oh no i know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use one of these these envelope pockets right let's let's work this out then let's see what we can do with this let's do something interesting come on now rachel let's have a look so i need my ruler and my craft knife Miracle of miracles, somebody hasn't pinched it today. I think it's missing more often than not in my house. It's a trouble when you've got two boys that want to be engineers. Oh, on that news, my middle son, our Rob, he had his second conditional offer for uni yesterday. So very excited last night. Came down at, um... oh, I just realised I haven't told mum yet. 
<laughs> Sorry, Mum, if I haven't texted you before this video goes up. Yeah, Rob had another offer last night. No, I will text you in a minute, but I, I just realised I hadn't told me yet. He came and told me last night about one o'clock, so we were sat on the settee talking about that. Um, but yeah, no, that popped in my mind then, because my son is going, well, he's applying to uni to do um, electrical engineering next September. So we're very excited because he's applied to, f I think, five that he put in for. And he's had uh, two uh, conditional offers back already, which is just great. Um, so he's really excited about that. But yeah, they, they, they pinch my tools a lot. Um, I, I had great, um, like you know the wire cutters and the plier things for i was you know i was all set, getting all set up to start doing like um dangles and stuff i had all the beads and all that and then i blinked one day and i was like where have all my little tiny pliers and stuff gone oh robert had them upstairs he was stripping the plug and rewiring something and i'm like you do realize they're mums don't you and he was like yeah i know i'm just borrowing them i've not had them back since every time i go up he's dismantling something or creating something he actually built uh, his own guitar uh, a couple of months ago I, I was actually really impressed um, but not only did he build the guitar he well what he did he um, electric guitar so he designed a connection uh, so that uh, you know when they have like the pedals to give like different sounds and distort one thing or another well he designed the guitar so that it was all inbuilt with switches and things on the guitar um, I'm sure this is not a new idea, but he's he he kind of designed the wiring himself and, you know, bought all the components and, you know, it was like an Amazon package coming every day for like three weeks. Um, all these things going up to, he's, he's got this tiny little bedroom as well. Um, all this stuff kept going up to this bedroom, his bedroom. He'd just bring down the package in for me. Mum, do you want the Amazon box? Oh, yes, please, love. But uh, he would, um, he, he did the whole thing and then he, he sprayed the body of the guitar because he used an old guitar that he'd had, um, cut out, you know, the part of the body then so that he could fit this, like, new electrical thing that he designed in um, on the, the uh, scratch plate and everything. And it, it actually is quite amazing. So I was really, um, I'm not shocked. I, I don't want to say I was shocked because that makes it sound like he's, you know, not capable. He's very capable, very bright. But to see him do something, you know, creative like that, I was quite like, wow, you know, I know he, he can write music and he taught himself to play guitar years ago but it's, you know it's different that's different to doing something with your hands I suppose isn't it but to see that he was able to do that I was I was really pleased so of course then he got the bug then so he decided he wanted to go into electrical engineering he always wanted to do maths um, but he didn't know what to do with maths so I said well just find something you love just find something you really enjoy doing because you're going to be doing it for a long time so you know it needs to be something that you're going to enjoy so yeah so he will hopefully be off to uni now next September. And um, yes, we will have one less in the house through the week. But at least I have my craft knife. There we go. And my youngest wants to be an electrical engineer as well. It's interesting enough. I actually have a nephew who's not an electrical engineer um so they all seem to have brains that run the same way all the boys in our family are either in it or electronics funny isn't it it's just obviously i don't know whether it's their generation or just the way that the brains of our family think i don't know but um they all seem to have gone in that direction my brother's got uh, three boys and they are all in it or marketing or something of that kind um it's his youngest has just finished uni now so well you know last term because they're a bit older than my three because my brother and sister are quite a bit older than i am i'm the baby there we go oh i don't like doing this because i'm always afraid i'm going to get the overlap wrong Now, before I forget, and I'm sorry, I should have said this at the beginning, for all of those of you that don't always catch everything that gets said in the video, if you're in a bit of a hurry, um, before I forget, just want to say a huge, huge happy birthday, belated happy birthday to Lynn Sparkles, 
who I'm sure you are all watching after our A to Z of Christmas craft. She's she's actually on our design team. Um, as I, as I know you will know, because she she's amazing. She does lots and lots of videos, and um, she, she's just so lovely. She's got such a big heart, and she had a really special birthday over the weekend. Um, so just wanted to say happy birthday to her. And hi, Lynn. And also another special lady who is also on our design team, um, Rose Vinin. She had a birthday yesterday. So two of our special ladies and their birthdays are one day after the other. Um, so happy birthday to you as well, Rose. Hope you have both had a lovely day. Um, we also had another birthday last week as well from our admin team in our Facebook group, um, Renee, and it was her birthday. So happy birthday to you too, Renee. I hope you had a great day. Well, these birthdays, gosh, I used to think I was hard done by mine having my birthday in February, but how do you cope with your birthday so close to Christmas? It's, um, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that. And I hope that you had a great day. I hope you were spoiled, all of you. You definitely deserve it. Right, that is my window pocket done. I have cut out that little square, so I did that whilst yakking, so it, it wasn't traumatic or difficult at all. So, um, and there's our little piece of paper. Now I'm going to put something in there. Shall I put something in there, or shall I just put the tag behind it and allow that to be seen, which is of course an option. So you can pop the tag in, and then oh, I quite like that. Actually, it's like an inspection pane, isn't it? There we go. Especially if you have something quite jazzy on the tag, perhaps not that one maybe one like this obviously i haven't backed my tags yet um i need to stick that in there because it's catching oh actually i might just put that fold around the back because it's going to be glued to the page so that'll be fine and then it doesn't keep the tag from going all the way in then there we go so you could do that another option of course what we could do is i could print some of the kit onto vellum and pop a little bit of it in there so i may do that a little bit later on we'll see so for the time being i am going to place this onto the page and i'm going to glue the back so i'm going to put the fold on the outside because i want to put things inside and i sometimes find it catches otherwise so i'm just cut that flush there so you don't see it there we go and i'm going to glue the back but i'm going to just leave this loose for now just in case i decide to stick something in there if i don't then i will glue it shut later on but i want this in the book because i find if i don't put things in place i'm not making decisions and that's not good i'm not getting anything done then are we so we need to get things finished okay an eye on the time so i like uh, I, i've enjoyed this project and i like what we've done here because it's giving me the opportunity to like think um about different ideas for pockets tucks um and also i've been desperate to have a go at using up some of these envelopes um <laughs> and it's given me the opportunity to do that so let's just pop centre there I think there we go ever so hard to see if something's straight from this angle yeah that looks fine here we are like I say I'm going to just leave that there now just in case uh, my printer's not plugged in at the moment so I may I probably will actually go and get a bit of vellum in a minute and print and I'll just slide that in and stick that in and then I can stick this down so we can come back to that bit. So that is all of our pockets done here and here. So all of our pockets done on the front. So now we can turn to the inside. Now, as I explained, the journal pages will go in there. That will be the very last thing that we do is to bind that into the notebook because um, I just don't want them in my way for the time being. So it's just sensible to leave them out. So what are we going to do with these pages on the back, you say, these flips? Now, I didn't cut these envelopes. I left these envelopes together because I wanted to have the stability on the back. Um, I find sometimes, obviously, if you're cutting the envelopes, then they can get a little bit floppy. So what we're going to do instead, we're going to add pockets on top of these and add tuck spots on top of them. Now, I have cut one ready. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this one here. Hmm, I'm just going to remember now where I was going to put it. 
Um, because I did have a plan. I had a plan. Um, and I've got to just now remember what I was going to do. I think I was going to place that one there because then we can get in and out and you can have the tab hanging out then, which will help you then turn that over. Does that make sense? Um, so well, let's just stick it down. Let's not do that. Otherwise I'll be like, hmm, did I say I was going to do that? Yes, I did. I definitely did. Uh, I had great fun last night actually uh, watching um, Mandy's uh, latest um, tutorial. So sunflowers and doors. Has she explained to you guys yet where she got the name from? If not, ask her because it made me giggle. It was fab. Um, but she did a tutorial last weekend uh, from a project that um, I think had come from Tatty Treasures. And uh, it was Brill. It was, it was another type of folio. And she used some gorgeous Stamperia pages. Oh, I, and I love that kit. Is it? Uh, I think it's called Imagine, I think. Don't quote me. Um, <laughs> and yeah, she, so she did something with that. And that was... Uh, that was Brill. Hmm. Do I want on the back there now? Do I want that on the back? Yeah, I'm going to have something on the back. Yeah, let's put that on the back. Um, but what was funny about it was that as I was watching her video, uh, and you need to check her video out as well, because she's got an amazing giveaway. She is giving away an Edith Holden book. I'll put the link below, actually. If I forget, somebody nudge me. Because you're great like that. You do tell me if I forget links. Um, yeah, no, I'll put the link to her video in... Uh, the description box of this one because she's got a brilliant giveaway so go over and check out the video but watch her tutorial on the folio because it's, it's fascinating um but no the funny thing was i was watching her video on the tv whilst i was sat fussy cutting all of this and as i looked at my phone uh i had a notification come up to say sunflowers and doors has just commented on your video so i was watching her video and she was watching my video i thought that was funny it was nice it's great see we all uh we all like seeing what each other are up to and what we're all doing and sharing ideas. It's great. I love seeing um the girls are just so clever. They just come up with such amazing ideas. It's blows my mind. I really don't want to cover that page over because I love it, but I need to have a cut tuck spot here. And I'm gonna do the same here as I've done on the back. So how close did I get that to the edge? Okay. This is Rachel eyeball measuring as always. Right, so it's almost a thumb width. So I'm thinking if I do the same here, not that you're going to see both pages at the same time, and then we can put some labels and stuff on this pocket just to jazzy it up a bit. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we go. Now I've used um, 120 GSM on this pa these pages. Pages. I haven't used card because I didn't want it to get too thick. Um, otherwise, it would end up bulging like this, wouldn't it? And the idea, obviously, with the um, envelope uh, flip journal is that it doesn't get overly bulky because you're adding lots of layers all the time, aren't you? So, and then maybe, maybe we can pop this one then. Where should we put this one? No, I don't want to put it there. Maybe I'll put it there. It's a bit busy on there, isn't it? Hmm. Perhaps we'll put that there because that goes quite nicely with the red. Actually, I wonder if we put it up there and we can use it then as a, you know, a, one of those. I'm going to call it a tuck. I don't know if that's what it's meant to be called. A top tuck. Yes, we'll do that with it, I think. Temperature's dropped in here. My glue doesn't want to come out and I'm getting cold. They have told us we're going to have snow this week. I don't know whether they're right. I hope we have a little bit. I feel selfish to uh, wish for snow that, um, wish, um, you know, that's heavy and causes disruption when people still have to get out for work and stuff over Christmas, don't they? So I always feel like you shouldn't really say that, but it would be nice to have a little bit. 
just not too much. You don't want everybody to be inconvenienced. You don't want people to be in danger, you know. Um, but it is always magical to have a little bit at Christmas, isn't it? I don't know if I put that there, actually. And then we've got like a tuck and a tuck. Yeah, I quite like that. I'm going to put a label on that. Okay, we will do that. Yes. Come on, glue. Now, play ball. Because we're almost done now with our tuck tucks. We just need to add a few labels. And then we'll be done. There we go. And then I'm going to put the kettle on and have a cup of tea. Because my hands are cold. Just hope I haven't gone brown. <laughs> With my December tan. <laughs> right, I think I'm going to leave that for the time being because I like that. I love this. This pocket is amazing. Put your seats in there, really, couldn't you? Yeah. Okay. Right. There we go. So, I think, I wonder if we could put one of these on here. Um, bum, 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 bum. Ah, let's put that one on there because that's a belly band. Yes. And the colours match quite nicely. We'll put it on as a belly band as well, I think. Yes, yes, yes. Have I already mentioned the video, the special giveaway video on Christmas Eve? Have I mentioned that already? I don't know. I talk so much now. I forget what I'm saying half the time. Um, well, hopefully I haven't. So I'm going to tell you all about it now. Well, I'm going to tell you all about it. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. But on Christmas Eve, we have a special video planned. I just If all goes to plan and everything's ready in time, uh, it'll go out to Christmas Eve. Um, and the video is the launch of a giveaway. Um... It's, I didn't do a separate giveaway in the A to Z because obviously we were doing the journal giveaway and I didn't want to have too many things going on at once. Um, we have currently got a giveaway going on in our Facebook group, which is called Junk Journal Trading Post with Rachel and Bella Crafts. I know a couple of you have been looking for it this week. Um, and that's the ELF giveaway. So obviously to enter that, uh, you've been sending us happy mail. Um, but we are doing a big giveaway on christmas eve with a very special video which i'm not going to tell you anything about at the moment because it's all a big surprise um but just that you're going to love it so make sure you look out for that make sure you're clicking the bell on our channel uh, so you don't miss anything um because uh, some of the girls from the um a to z of christmas crafts um and some of our facebook admin team who don't have um their own youtube channels um are we're going to do a little collaboration but not a craft one so i'm not gonna say any more but don't miss the video because there will be a giveaway um yeah and that's what i'm going to tell you <laughs> oh and i mean i know it's nice to have surprises at christmas right i'm happy with that i'm happy with that i don't feel the need to put loads of stuff on this because it looks pretty but i am just wondering no that's too big let's have a little look let's get some of these fabulous words on here shall we Let's do some splatter in the words. Let's see what we've got. Because there are some amazing words in this kit. So you've got some that are type printed like this. Oh no, that looks quite groovy there, I think. I don't know, maybe all that script behind. Maybe not. Let me think. We'll come back to that one. Um, we've got some that are like this. And then we've got some, this is a different kit again then. Again, all from Pink Monarch Prints. Um... They're amazing. Actually discovered something very interesting um, on the weekend. I was looking at uh, some Christmas carols and I discovered Ding Dong Merrily on High. Sorry, I was looking at Deck the Halls and it reminded me, but then I thought, no, it's a different song. Um, no, Ding Dong Merrily on High. Um, you know, fa la 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 la, that one. Uh, is actually a Welsh song. I did not know that. Did not know that, that that hymn originally or carol originated in Wales. Don't ask me the date. It was a very long time ago. But yes, it was actually written here in Wales. So there you go. It's a little bit of useless information for you. But I was quite fascinated by that. Not shocked, obviously, because we know how much we Welsh love to sing. But uh, yeah, 
Welsh Carol. So there you go. Um, what else have I got to tell you guys? Oh, yeah, don't forget as well, we've got a sale on in our Etsy shop. Um, all the kits are on sale. Keep an eye out because we've got a new kit going out at the end of the week. Um, and we've got Christmas items in there that need to go now. So they will be on sale now at the end of today. And we've got, uh, there's a few journals in there as well, I think. And we've also now got free shipping for orders over $35 to America, to the US, sorry. Um, yeah, so some good deals to be had on there. Oh, fa la 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 la. There we go, as I was saying. Um, but yeah, so hop over and check it out if you haven't yet. Um, I told you about the ALF giveaway, haven't I? Yeah, they've been up to their usual antics today, making a mess. And of course, all of those amazing Christmas decorations that been sent in um you will see those showcased on a christmas tree on christmas eve so they'll be up there in all their glory so i'm just waiting for the last few to come through um if you have sent one and you haven't yet seen it on one of my videos um that means it hasn't arrived yet because everything that's come i've now shown you all so far um but if you've sent one and i haven't received it yet just remember to write a comment in the um the facebook group event because i will add your name then to the uh giveaway because obviously a lot gets stuck in the post you know we'll wait for it to come then let's see if it comes after the holidays it doesn't matter because i'm going to put them all in a special journal keep them all nice and safe because they've been amazing and so much fun and uh, it was quite a nice change of pace after the um, the A to Z because that was like, whoa, full on. Really busy for us and for you. Bella was frantically crafting every day. I was posting the uh, the things every day and sharing and all that. And as were all the girls, it was, it was just crazy busy, but so much, so much fun. We had a great month in my last month. And this one's been so busy and I've been trying to do some of uh, Tracy Fox's um, fabulous December dailies. They were great. Um, so I have managed to do a few so far. The rest I've got printed ready. I just printed them out every day now and they're all in the box because I plan to sit and play with those over Christmas when I have a little bit of quiet. Oh, look, I've stuck that in there right on the bend. That ain't going to work there, Rach. Move it in. Silly, silly, silly girl. Now, if you do that with your um, with something and you've got glue on it, fabric tack specifically, once it's drying, if you get a pencil rubber, and just gently rub up the paper, it does in fact remove the excess tacky glue. There you go. Is new. So nothing worse to say than opening a page and feeling. But you can you have to be quick when you're doing it with the eraser because obviously once it dries, it is dry then. But if you can catch it when it's still like gummy, you can get the excess glue off that way. <sighs> a little tip I saw on somebody's tutorial a year ago, I think. <laughs> That's it. It's better. Here we go. Right, so pocket, pocket, done, done, done. Going to put some vellum in there. Right, we need something here. Oh, look at these amazing, um, they're big as well, aren't they? Ah, they're a bit big, I think, for my my little um, pages in this journal. Great designs, though. What about some of these amazing labels? And, of course, we must keep these little tags. I had notes that they had tags as well. Where did the other one just hide? Gosh, that's weird. I could have sworn I saw three there then. Or maybe not. Okay. So there's that one there and that one there. We'll keep those out. And then... What else have we got in here? Oh, that's a pretty one. Should we have the kitty cats? Yes. Let's do that, shall we? And what else should we put with them? Oh, look at this big number here. That's a cool one. Oh, now this box seemed like a great idea last night. I was going to say, I can't get them out this morning. So, 
can put them down there or we can have a number there maybe and then the kitty cats there perhaps here i could do it in fact so that it's almost part of a cluster so look what we've got here hmm Let's see if this will work oh yes i like that we'll leave the number for another time let's put that on there See, it's good actually to grab your scraps as you're going along and do some of these little scrappy clusters because then you've got ready-made embellishments then, haven't you? And they're already stitched as well, you see, so it's just adding a bit of something to your page then as well. Um, <clears throat> if you want to stitch. Because I wasn't going to go stitching all around the pages on this journal. It would have just been too much. There we go. My glue is going to need renewing, I think. I'm going to pop that underneath there, I think. Oh, yeah, that's better. Just because that corner there is stitched. Oh, they're so cute, aren't they? <laughs> oh, look at these little kitty cats. There we go. And then, oh, there they are again. There we are, so we've embellished that. We've done that. Done that one. Oh, my goodness, I think we're done. Yay! Well, that wasn't too bad. That didn't take too long. Okay, so that's all of our pockets done. That's all of our tucks done. Uh, we've started embellishing the pages. So the next video now will just be us doing tags and adding any last bits and then stitching in our journal. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying our little mini series. Um, don't forget to put the bell on so you don't miss the Christmas Eve video. Um, don't forget to check out the sale in the shop and don't forget to check out the elf giveaway if you haven't already seen it. Other than that, have a great day and I will see you all very soon. Bye!